guys, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today the lighting might look a little bit different because I actually bought my first set of studio lights. Um, so I'm working out the kinks. I don't know if this is going to be too bright or what it's going to end up looking like on camera. Um, I bought two of them and I'm only using one at the moment because two looked really, really, really bright. So I might keep the other one for a spare. Um, but I bought them so that I could do actual makeup tutorials and because I would do them during the day but I'm not really a day person and you can never really rely on the daylight to be good anyway. So I bought studio lighting so that I can do a lot more makeup tutorials but first of all I thought I would do just a different video today just to test it out and see what it looks like first. So today I have a hairbrush off, hairbrush face off. Um, see what I did there? <laughs> so a while back I bought two hairbrushes. They're supposed to be the new revolutionary sort of hairbrush. Well, they're not really new or revolutionary. They actually have been around for a while, but they're sort of coming back into fashion and people are starting to realize that it works a little bit better, especially if you've got long, thick hair. So the first one is the Tangle Teaser, which kind of looks like a horse hairbrush, like a curry comb, but yeah, so that's that one. And then the second one is the, I think you say, I don't know if you say Michelle or Michael, because it's spelled M-I-C-H-E-L, uh, Mercia, which is another brand of a hairbrush that's similar sort of qualities. So with the Tangle Teaser, it boasts that it gets out knots without, um, you know, tearing the hair or damaging the hair or taking forever, which most hairbrushes do for me because my hair is really long and really thick and it gets knotty like there's no tomorrow. And the, I think it's Michelle Mercier, I really should have looked up how to pronounce it. Or maybe it's Mikkel. Maybe it's Mikkel. I don't know. And yeah, so this one boasts a similar aspect. So they actually come in three different types and this is the one for thick hair. I think they have one for fine hair and one for something else but I can't really remember. I'll put it in the info bar down below. But yeah, so they have three different hair brushes according to your hair type and this is the one for thick hair. And yeah, you can see the bristles have all different lengths like so. And the Tangle Teaser is quite similar. It has two different lengths you can see there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you the comparison between the two. So I'm going to take my hair down. Now my hair is very knotty. I have not brushed it for a couple of days. Don't judge me. So yeah, just be prepared for massive tangles. So I'm going to do one side of my hair with one brush and the other side with another brush. So you can see like it's quite knotty. There's a big knot there. So the first brush I'm going to use is the Tangle Teaser. So I'm going to use it on this side and I'm going to show you what it looks like. And when you're brushing your hair with these, like they say you can start from up here and brush down. But I still go with the old thing that they say to brush from the bottom and then work your way up. Because I think it's a lot more gentler. Even though these are a gentler hairbrush, I still want to make sure I'm being as gentle as possible. So I do start from the bottom. Probably can't see because my hair is really long. But I'll show you. It sounds really, really bad. So I'll show you. As you can see, it's brushing quite easily considering I have a lot of knots. And I just brush how I would normally. Now, if I was using a regular brush, this would take me forever because my hair is so knotty. I mean, look at the comparison between there and there. That's what I'm brushing out. So this is... And it, yeah, it does sound scary. It sounds like it is breaking your hair, but it's just the way the plastic is. It sounds extra scary. <laughs> So that's pretty much that side brushed and as you can see my hair is extremely long and extremely thick And if I was using a regular hairbrush This would take me forever. So the tangle teaser is actually my favorite because you can see just how easily That has gone through my hair like my hair is pretty much brushed. I'm just fine <laughs> I'm just brushing extra for no reason now 
Okay, so you guys can see how easy that was just doing the left side of my hair with the tangle teaser. And compared to this side, like how naughty that is compared to here. So we went from this to this in just what, like 30 seconds or a minute or so. Now I'm going to use the me, <laughs> I'm just going to call it the Mercia one. And yeah, so the, the tangle teaser is a little bit more expensive than this one, I believe. I think there is a little bit of a difference in price, but I'm not sure how much buy, but I will put it in the info bar down below. And now I'm going to use this one. As you can see, the design is a little bit different. You actually get a handle, but with the tangle teaser, it's not, you. it doesn't feel like it's going to fly out of your hand or anything. It just feels like a curry comb when you brush a horse. So yeah, I like the handle on that too. So if you prefer one of these handles though, you might want to look into this one. Okay, so now we're going to start using this one. Now this does sound just as scary as a tangle teaser, but I promise it's not hurting or anything like that. So as you can see, this isn't as easy as the tangle teaser. It does get caught in some areas if you've got a particular knot, a particular knotty knot. This side was actually a little less knotty than the other side, but... Okay, so as you can see, there's not a lot of difference between the two. Um, I have a little bit of more of a preference for the Tangle Teaser because it feels a little bit gentler. Not that this one isn't gentle at all, it, it's super gentle compared to a regular hairbrush. But for some reason, this one is just a little bit more gentle on the hair. I believe it's because you see these little bristles. They're actually quite... how am I going to show you? They're actually quite bendy. You can see that. Whereas this one, they're a lot more stiff. Sorry, you can see hair everywhere. So they're a little stiffer than the other ones. Which I think the tangle tees are that because they are a little bit more flexible, they run through your hair a lot easier. Whereas this one, if you've got a particular part where it's super knotty, it might get caught up a little bit. So that's something to consider, but they are very very close. They're both amazing brushes and if you're like me and you have super long, super thick hair that is was just a pain in the butt to brush, then these two brushes could not be better for your hair. So between these two, this one does win the brush off, but only by say one half of a point. I would give this one five out of five and this one four and a half out of five. And yeah, so they're not that different. This one just gets half a point off because it does get caught every now and then. But it's nowhere near as bad as it would be with a regular hairbrush. So I thoroughly recommend these two brushes. If you're looking at buying one of these, then I will put all the information in the links below. And yeah, so that was my hairbrush off. <laughs> I'm so lame. My hairbrush face off. <laughs> oh dear, that's sad. Anyway, I shall see you guys in my next video. Hopefully the lighting on this video was good and I'll be able to use it for tutorials. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.